hello guys welcome to my video today again and as requested today i'll be taking you guys through my wash day and i'll be showing you guys how my hair routine is like okay so you're going to see how i take care of my hair how i wash my hair in its original state and how i'm going to go about it so in today's video i'll be using a need natural product and without wasting our time let's get right into today's video so I've been hearing that okra gel or okra water is a very, very great detangler and I was looking forward to detangling my hair properly. So I had to set my okra water and my onion juice for my scalp treatment, that is for my pre pull. I always love doing a pre pull before I go in to first shampoo my hair. So what I used was the onion juice for just my scalp and then the okra water was to detangle my hair. Now, I want you to know that this is the first time using the okra gel or okra water, however it is called. So what I did was just to get my okra, I soaked it in water overnight, then I blended it in the next morning. So I just had to sieve it with this wig cap to make sure there are no particles in it. I did not do that properly and at the end of the video, you will notice I had some little okra particles in my hair. So I would suggest you do that very well. Okra juice is a very, very great detangler. And trust me, the hype is really, it's really worth it. This was my first time and it was dramatic. Trust me when I say this was dramatic, it was dramatic. I struggled to hard to contain the whole drawing slimy thing. But at this point, I noticed that this thing was actually working. It was working, but it was stressful. So I would suggest that you just prepare your mind for this. I was expecting it to be slimy, but <laughs> not to this extent. But it really really worked i was able to detangle my hair like you can see the comb like sliding through it so so easily like no struggle at all but then the mistake i made was that i did not do this on a neat hair so i would suggest you actually go into detangle your hair when your hair is actually neat so probably one of those wash days that your hair is not very dirty and you just like want to wash out the product and all that in fact, I would prefer you do this after you actually shampoo your hair. You can go in with the okra water or okra gel or whatever it is called. Then probably you can go in to just shampoo your hair like once or twice more. But make sure you do this on a very clean hair. Why did I say so? Because my hair was like dirty, dirty. I've not washed my hair in like a month in this particular video. I washed my hair just like once in a month. So because of that, the um, dirt and the products from my previous whatever were still on my hair and it kind of made the whole slimy thing not last so while i was trying to detangle my hair with my fingers and trying to sort everything out the whole slimy stuff were the whole product was just taking off the whole slime. i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say like you're using stuff that are really slimy and because of dirt and something or the oily substance and something or whatever the whole slimy thing just it just messed everything up but just make sure you do this when your hair is like very neat. It took me about three hours or so to detangle my entire hair completely. And honestly, I lost hair. Like I said, it's been a long time. I properly detangled my hair. But this was the hair I lost. It was quite a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> but let's just say plus the whole shedding daily. Plus the fact that it's been very long. I detangled my hair. I guess that rounds everything up. Not so bad, I guess. So I had to like rinse off everything. This part was also very dramatic because, uh, so let me get started. It was very dramatic. Like I said, this was my first time trying the okra water and I really didn't know what I was doing. So at this point, I just had to like rinse off a lot. I used a lot of water to properly rinse off. I rinsed off properly and make sure if you're going to do this, you do that very well. So I used the Anid Natural Hair Shampoo and that was what I used to wash off the whole hair and i love going in with my scalp massager since i got this scalp massager it has been a game changer so let's just say this is where my routine starts from my constant routine that does not change let me put it that way so after my purple i go in with my shampoo as you can see that is what i'm doing aside the okra gel that's not part of my routine i just did that that particular day so i went in with my scalp massager to make sure I am able to get those dirt 
and those product build up on my scalp out one good thing with the scalp massager is that it aids in blood circulation because while you're trying to like properly loud out your shampoo and scrub your scalp it's also like massaging your scalp okay so it's like a win-win and this like really works because getting your fingers in between those jumbo strands <laughs> Can be very 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 dramatic so the scalp massager does the work and if you don't use the scalp massager i'll suggest you could get one take a look at this beauty take a look at this beauty take a look at this beauty stop playing don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not just hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up leave a comment on the next video you'd like me to make I was done shampooing my hair and I checked my scalp. I could see that they are all like really, really clean and so on. And then I proceeded to do one more wash because I noticed that this other part of my hair, there was still like a little kind of awkward, whatever drama going on there, and also a little product there. So I had to like shampoo that again because I had to get everything out of my hair. I detangled my hair this day properly and then I decided I was going to also wash it like clarify my scalp well. So I did my third shampoo and then I went to my deep conditioner. This is the Rich Moisture Deep Conditioner from Arnid Natural and trust me when I say this thing, it is conditioning. It is conditioning. Take a look at this nutrient you're going to apply to your hair. So I love washing my hair in sections and just the way it is washed in sessions i also like to um deep condition my hair in that exact session i don't like washing my entire hair just like that because it will end up tangling it will just be so so hard to detangle the hair and everything will just be so not 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 everywhere and honestly i'm a baby girl i don't like the kind of drama you know so let's just make life easy for ourselves okay and just put your hair in sessions even though you have very full natural hair and you notice whenever you're done washing your hair, you always tangle, it's hard to maneuver. Trust me, wash your hair in sections. I was so exhausted here because I think this was like five hours later, if I'm not mistaken, if not six. But I know I started this thing very early and I was done pretty late. So I had to do this all around my entire hair. And trust me, that is work. Deep, deep conditioning is something i don't ever skip in my routine i must deep condition my hair so after i shampoo my hair i go into deep condition my hair it is a must it's a must i must do it i can't go without deep conditioning my hair and it should be a must in your natural hair care routine do not skip deep conditioning on your wash day after detangling my hair after already deep conditioning this was the little hair that came out remember i detangled my hair already so i did not lose so much hair again and i had to rinse off after about 15 20 minutes thereabouts hair time already like gone time was already gone 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 so i had to just like take care of myself and then come back later to style my hair by the time i was done like it was already like noon it was noon guys i'm not even capping like i said this whole hair thing around that seven in the morning thereabouts and trust me time had already gone by the time i was done so this whole part is just self-care you know how we do our things the next is my hair mist from anid naturals again i love spraying my hair and my scalp with the hair mist then i go in with my leave-in conditioner around my hair strands this is a leave-in conditioner and this is so so nice it's very moisturizing and trust me it's not leaving your hair anytime soon it's not leaving your hair anytime soon trust me so after moisturizing my hair i go in with the oil this oil has peppermint rosemary and it's very 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 good i also oil my scalp with this oil because trust trust me oils are good for your scalp okay this is the butter and this is herbal infused butter and i use this to just seal up the whole moisture so basically this is just my hair routine generally I'm making this particular hairstyle because I want my hair straightened out. I had the plans to make cornrows after this particular wash day. 
in like two or three days because a friend's wedding was coming up the next week and i just needed something that can make the whole cornrows thing easier because my plan was to just use a wig for the wedding because i will not have time to style my hair let me know if you'd like to see the vlog for the entire wedding and how it went so for this particular hairstyle i have a detailed video click on the link there and you'll be able to see how i came up and achieve this particular hairstyle thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you want to see next and look how juicy my hair now looks look at the strands given it's given it's given <laughs> the particles of my hair were there you can see it from the whole occur thing thank you so much for watching i love you guys see you in my next video and bye don't forget to subscribe bye